Battle the old gear in bed, I did. And my father used to whip looks for us when we were fishing badly. When we baited lads, it was in winter badly, it was mussel bait. We used to scare the mussels and mouth shells, they were very difficult to scare. And yet again, I won't claim there was, a, a, there was an art in it. Walk down the side of the shell, he had proper scaling knives. We had a waddle hole. I don't know whether you know what a waddle hole is, but it was a pipe, a round steel pipe that went through it at Buckley and through the bait house in the fireplace. A great big old fashioned fireplace, but fires would never out. Many a time you had to run out in Buckley because there was that much smoke in bait house. But everybody was the same. You could see the smoke all along, all along Delhi. Fisherman Square is still very much the centre of Redcar's seeing the community. The oldest type of local boat is the cobble, but these days more modern types are used, pressure boats and the local double ender in wood. South Terrace itself was built especially for the fishermen to replace the original Fisherman's Square of centuries ago. When I look out to sea, it's like looking at a town, because I know where rocks is, I know where sand is, gravel is and everything. My father let me go a skipper when I was 18 year, 18 year old because he knew I was up to it and I knew what I was doing. And we used to go away to sea two, three, four o'clock in the morning, shoot the lines, get them shot before it blinked daylight. And we had no electronics and paint gear, same as I've got now. You had to go be judgment, to judge the tides. And between you and I, it was mainly cod. And addict, but they were all a good sample of fish, and there was plenty of lobsters catching by Tom. Hey. They knew he was a fisherman by the clothes he wore. My grandmother, she used to knit a lot of the Gansies for the fishermen in the village. I was born in her house and lived there until I was about seven, and one time I had a long period off school and she actually taught me to knit squares and I progressed from there to do patterns. As regards knitting the Gansies, I picked that up off a pattern through just learning myself how to knit on uh, four needles because I used to knit all my own seaboard stockings and gloves and some people never believe that a man can knit and I consider myself a slow knitter to what some people are. The fishermen used to have a, a design in their Gansey and if ever they were lost at sea, they got uh, found, they could easily be recognised by the Gansey. The word Gansey is uh, a derivation from the word uh, Guernsey. It's where the northeast people talk and they just uh, naturally go out in the word and call it Gansey. And we spell it G-A-N-Z-E-E whereas it used to be spelled G-U-E-R-N-S-E-Y. I think Gansy is a simpler way to spell it. They knew he was a fisherman by the clothes he wore. Red Car fishermen were recorded as selling their catch on the beach fresh from the boat 400 years ago. And this tradition has carried on down the centuries and still continues to do it. We've been trading in Rathka for the past 30 years, which our family has owned the fish and chip restaurant and fish shop takeaway for that length of time. I'm a second generation of uh, the business owner. We uh, provide local fish, arranged from uh, cod, haddock, place and skate, which we uh, take on board when the local fishermen can bring them uh, to the shores of Redcar. Unfortunately, over the past 30 years, we've seen a change in suppliers and quantities of fish that we can get hold of. 
A lot of our fish now, unfortunately, is brought in from the North Atlantic uh, waters, which are, are fished by many different uh, countries. We take fish off uh, Icelandic, uh, Norwegian, German, and Spanish suppliers. We would like to have more homegrown or own caught fish, but unfortunately, the, the, the quotas that have been brought in from the sea over the past number of years makes it very difficult. The products that we do buy in over the past 30 years have considerably changed through the taste and probably the quality of uh, products that we get, such as the cod. With the different uh, quotas that we can catch, fish are frozen out at sea and brought back to uh, the shores of the UK. Unfortunately, people there's a big debate going on that whether the fish is fresher that it's frozen or fresher that it's landed locally. So over the past 30 years we've had generations of families coming into our premises. A lot of our customers and their families coming in from them to present day which we have young children coming in and enjoying fish and chips as their parents and their parents have done. I was the first person in the family to start fishing. I've been fishing about 30 years now. And, you know, this particular boat is a double-ended beach boat. Very popular too, Red Car. But this particular boat was made in uh, Goodall's Sandsend um, 24 years ago by Tony Goodall. It was, well, he retired and then he, he's died now. But, um, he was one of the best builders on the North Yorkshire coast. Well, our, our basic uh, fishing area for the type of boat we've got is we launch at Redcar and we can go maybe a mile west for the fishing grounds or if conditions aren't suitable close in, we take the pots to about three mile out. That's about our limit. It's basically, all we're on now is crabs and lobsters and velvet crabs that go to Spain. But uh, these days even the crabs are uh, getting less and less, the brown crabs. Uh, two years ago we used to average about three or four boxes a day at the best of times and now you're looking to catch half a box, four, three or four stone at the most, a full day out of all the pots. In the winter we fish for cod, if you get a rough sea, we shoot the nets after the rough sea and you generally get two or three days good fishing for cod. But there again there's uh, a limit of about 14 stone a month now on cod, so you can only get a couple of days fishing in and then you've got your quota, unless you increase the quota on that. So basically it's down to the pots really do for, to make a living out of now for the whole year round. The majority of the lobsters from Redcar and all this northeast coast go to Spain. The way the restrictions are going and what have you, I think it's best to uh, take an early retirement. I've been making model cobbles for 25 years plus. I come from a long line of old red car fishermen. Go back to the turn of the century. I make cobbles as they did in bad weather. When they couldn't get off, they would make one for the bairns. This is a typical red cobble. The front cover is called a dodger and it was there to protect the engine from the weather and also crew. This is what they start from, it's, I call it a jig and it gets planked up with whatever wood I can come across but basically I like to keep it larch and oak. So from that we get that. This is one in progress, as you can see here these are the, the floorboards that have just being painted and have to go in there. But this particular one has a wheelhouse on it, so I'm just on with construction of that.
to make a model cobble, we're talking about maybe two to three months depending on what's needed on it. You know, if, obviously if it's a wheelhouse on it, it's, it's a lot longer. Yeah, nowadays there isn't many cobbles left because it's, uh, it's not a paying game and cobbles don't live forever. I'd like to see it continue as the model making side of it to keep the heritage going of the fishing tradition. Whisper, he was a character. He used to shout, Big fish for little buddies. He used to go in church, he had to take his bowl and hat off like that and speak to the gravestones. Good day, Tony. Good day, good day, Tony. And then he'd go to another gravestone. And he just said, Sam, good night, good night, talk to them all. And then he used to come out and go away home. Hey, but a good one. Clouds are upon a summer sky. There's thunder in the wind. Pull, pull away and homeward high. Nor give one look behind. Row on, row on, another day may shine with brighter light. Fly, fly the oars and pull away. Thou must not come tonight. Row on, row on, God speed the way. Thou must not linger here Clouds hang about the closing day Tomorrow may be clear Row on, row on, another day May shine with brighter light Fly, ply the oars and pull away Thou must not come tonight. Row on, row on, another day may shine with brighter light. Fly, ply the oars and pull away. Thou must not come tonight.